Welcome back everyone, Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here and today we have some exciting news to go over from Binance US registration launching tomorrow, Wells Fargo creating their own stablecoin, Bitcoin address holdings being at an all time high as well as a basic market update. So let's jump right into it. All right, everybody. So first and foremost, Binance US registration is launching tomorrow, September 18th, which is very exciting for those who like trading on Binance, such as myself, as we will be able to uh, start trading and depositing on Binance very soon. So uh, Binance America tweeted out that your questions have been answered, where Catherine Colley, the CEO of Binance US, go ahead, went ahead and answered some questions for us. So a few of the main things that they've pointed out is that until November 1st, 2019, there are going to be zero trading fees. So that's super convenient and nice of them to do. Also, a little bit on the bad news side, but they announced that Binance US is rolling out to most states, but there are going to be some states that aren't quite available yet. However, they did say that they are working on getting those launched shortly as well. And everyone is going to have to verify their account because it is a regulated exchange. So you're going to require social security number as well as ID verification. Um, but again, it's a regulated exchange, so that's what we expected. And so one of the big questions is people are asking who will be available to register for an account at Binance.us as soon as it launches tomorrow. And again, there are a short list of states that aren't going to be allowed to um, register quite yet. Uh, Alabama, Alaska, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Louisiana, New York, North Carolina, Texas, Vermont, and Washington. So they said, although it is upsetting that we cannot offer Binance US in the states where I grew up, that's from Catherine Colley. She said that, uh, rest assured that this is just the beginning and it is our mission to bring access to those of you in these many states, uh, in these states, many of us call home. So they will be working on getting those uh, shortly, and I'm not too worried about it at all. Um, so a couple other questions people have been asking are what are the trading fees going to be like? Again, they are giving us a little uh, handout here and not charging any trading fees until November 1st. However, after that, it is going to be the flat fee of 0.10%. Um, still really low fees compared to a lot of exchanges. Um, another question that people are asking is, is there going to be a fiat exchange? Am I going to be able to deposit U.S. dollars and buy cryptocurrency? And because it is a regulated exchange, the answer is yes. U.S. customers will be able to buy listed coins with U.S. dollars through ACH deposits or wire transfer methods. So that's super exciting. Again, they're uh, trying to open up the access to digital assets that everyone in the U.S. has. And another big question is, what can I do with the coins and tokens that I have that aren't going to be listed on Binance U.S.? Well, you're going to have to either keep them in a wallet for now or cold storage or go ahead and move them over to an exchange that does allow the trading of these coins. Another big question that people worried about is, will Binance US customers be insured against theft and hacking? And Catherine said that uh, Binance US takes security very seriously. We prioritize customer protection. So I'm sure they are going to have some sort of insurance fund. At least I sure hope so. Even the Binance unregulated exchange did. So I don't see any reason why the regulated exchange wouldn't. Um, also on the news, super exciting is that Wells Fargo is to has announced that they are going to launch their own stable coin for cross-border transactions and internal settlement. So Again, guys, this is just a huge, huge um, step towards the benefits that blockchain technology and cryptocurrency can provide for the financial market and financial industry. Lisa Fraser here said that there is a growing demand to further reduce friction regarding traditional borders and today's technology puts us in a strong position to do that. So, um, you know, they're starting to realize that technology is advancing very quickly and, and banks quite frankly, are kind of falling behind. So it's it's awesome to see that they're going to be adopting these, adopting these sort of technologies that are going to allow for um, less friction in financial transactions and that sort of thing. And so it's really cool to see these banks again. Uh, a stable coin isn't going to be a coin to invest in necessarily, but it is taking advantage of the blockchain benefits of the efficiency and security and, and speed of these transactions that blockchain technology could provide for banks. I mean, we're talking banks being able to send millions of dollars in the matter of seconds with a few cents in fees due to blockchain technology. So super exciting to see that Wells Fargo is kind of starting to open their eyes and realize how powerful blockchain is. And so I'm excited to see them do that. Uh, also on the news is uh, Bitcoin addresses, uh, Bitcoin address holdings are at an all time high right now. So the number of Bitcoin uh, wallet addresses holding a minimum of 10 Bitcoin uh, has hit an all time high. So that's saying that right now, present time, there are more Bitcoin wallets holding over 10 Bitcoin than ever has been before. And uh, here on Cointelegraph.com, they included a little uh, chart here where you can see uh, this is a chart of the addresses holding at least 10 Bitcoin. So you can see it's, it's 
pretty consistent growth here. Um, we kind of leveled out here for a while, and this shows you that people really weren't selling their Bitcoin, and it started to peak up again, uh, hit an all new all-time high. And they also included a data chart, which is really cool to see that um, people holding between uh, 1,000 to 10,000 Bitcoin is 1942. There's over uh, there's 103 wallets that are holding between 10,000 to 100,000, and four wallets that are holding between 100,000 to a million. <laughs> I wish I had one of those wallets, but unfortunately I'd fall somewhere over here. <laughs> but uh, that's super exciting to see the adoption and that investors are starting to hold on to their Bitcoin and you know, cryptocurrency is not slowing down, not at all. And so on to a basic market update. Again, nothing too exciting here on Bitcoin versus the US dollar here on Binance. You can see that we've kind of started to wedge out here as these highs have been falling and the price has been kind of accumulating and consolidating here for the past six days or so. Uh, not a whole lot of movement, but um, you know, we could see one of two things. We could see a breakout this direction or maybe one more bounce off of this uh, support trend line. We'll have to see. I'm not here to give it financial advice, but uh, price is looking good, if you ask me, as well as the market cap also looking good. However, the market cap has broken out of this little bit of a wedge here where we had these descending highs and a bottom support wedge here. And you can see that the market cap has floated through that level. So that's generally a good sign. But uh, market market prices are looking good and I'm, uh, I'm really excited for Binance US to open. And so again, just a little bit of a news update. Uh, cryptocurrency is not slowing down. There's lots of developments, not, lots of new things, uh, more and more mass adoption every single day. So make sure to stay tuned. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for future videos and make sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.